Okay, I was finally, finally, finally able to get the magneto speed chronograph working. Seems to be a real pain in the ass to set up, to tune. It just takes so long. I think I'm going to get another one. I bought this because I read lots of reviews, lots of people seem to rave about them. But um, if you want to swap over from multiple rifles, they're a full on pain in the ass. Anyway, what we can see on here is the last three shots were with the CCI Blazers. I believe it's CCI, Blazer 22 ammo. So we got 1262, 1227, 1187. So that's pretty typical of cheap high velocity stuff. Now we'll go to the first five shots, which were CCI standards. The first three came out of the the same packet. So we've got 1055, 1060, 1054, which is really good. Then the next two shots were from a different packet of ammo, so 1045, 1039. So good old CCI standard velocity is um, really good. Now, that's the magneto seed speed set up there. Now mind you, this is CCI standards, 22 LR being fired out of a 22 Magnum using a chamber sleeve made out of a 22 Magnum case with the rim filed off. Okay guys, that's enough. So, uh, oh sorry, before I sign out, as you can see the velocities there and the consistency and um, considering that there's little bulges consistence considering there's little bulges in all of these um, the cases in the sleeve that I'm using here actually that sleeve that's in there that was one I took a little bit more care of that one wasn't getting any bulges however it was a lot harder to prize the the shells out of so uh, the one that's in the firearm at the moment is a um, it's stuck it's not going anywhere it's stuck in place but it's actually allowing the lever action le mechanism to be f uh, to feed it will not feed the first and the second round Oh, sorry, it, won't, it will not feed the first and the last round, but it will feed the the ones in between. The standard velocities are only ejecting around 50%, but it seems like the higher velocity blazers, they're actually extracting and feeding no dramas. When you are feeding, you sometimes got to give it like a little half stroke and then come back a bit and then go in, but it is... We've been able to get it um, to a, a point where it's actually not terrible. You can definitely live with it. And all you'd need is just like a little prior, a little, where is it, little screwdrivery thing like this. Preferably something made of brass or copper so it's not going to scratch inside. But um, this is totally feasible. If you had a single shot like a uh, little survival rifle like those little... Um, what are they, Chiapa um, little badges or something like that? This would be like so cool. Uh, even bolt actions. You know, if you had a nice tight chamber like this and you had a bolt action, especially one that's got a control round feed, obviously, like you don't necessarily want to be doing this to your CZs or anything like that, but a CZ or any of your controlled round feed ones. Uh, the, they may feed actually quite well, so you could leave the chamber, you could leave the chamber sleeve in place if you had a nice tight fitting one, and uh, you'd probably be able to feed out of a single stacking magazine, probably no tr no problems at all. So anyway, 
I'll sign out of this. It's the results have been like way, 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 way better than I could have imagined. Getting very consistent um, extreme spreads and velocity um, out of the same batch ammo. That's really good. Like we're talking what um, four nine. Nine feet per second difference between three shots of the same batch. That's for 22 ammo. That's quite. That's not target ammo. That's quite. Um, that's quite impressive. And then this, the the second two shots of the the newer packet, um, 45, 10.45 and 10.90. Sorry, 10.45 and 10.39 feet per second. That's only six feet per second difference so um yeah that's pretty good well of all of the eight oh yeah sorry i won't go i'll leave that now but um overall absolutely totally impressed you know this will also shoot your rat shot bird shot snake shot whatever you want to call it as well so um yeah super super impressed there's probably some more work to be done here and um with this crony now that i've got a now i've got it all um dialed in um a pity my other mates went home yesterday we could have um, done a lot more experimentation they had a lot of different rounds we just couldn't get the crony working yesterday so sorry guys okay Bye.